Sports science, sports science from my shed. Another exercise video, guys. I'm quite enjoying these, so I'm going to try and pump out some uh, some science on the uh, the full blown shed science episodes. And these extra science ones will all be how to. Okay, so today is uh, focuses around making BST better. Now, for those of you who are watching this that aren't necessarily that familiar with BST, this can be applied to any circuit or fitness class, really. Anything that has inbuilt options into it. Um, this video is going to be aimed at, uh, is aimed at telling you how you can get the maximum benefit from that class. Okay, now, while you're at home, that is particularly important because you don't necessarily have access to different weights. You don't necessarily have access to all the equipment and all the space in the world. So how can you use these guidelines to get the maximum benefit from your fitness class and in our case at Force from your live BSTs? Okay, I talked about it a little bit in my live BST the other day. I'm going to uh, build off the back of that. It all falls down and comes under the reason why you're doing that class. Okay, so BST, which isn't... Um, isn't dissimilar to other fitness classes, but has our take on it. The aim of that is to one, improve your fitness, but two, get you to expend a large amount of calories um, with the aid of very often of, of weight loss, but also um, various other elements, but nine times out of 10, it's weight loss and fat loss. So if you're looking to improve fitness and expand calories, how have we set up BST to do that? Well, we use fast weighted movements or a variety of uh, weighted uh, body weight, speed, cardiovascular, a variety of different movements in an interval format. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and you keep repeating that around the circuit. Um, now, the reason that's picked is to give you the maximum benefit. Okay, so we've chosen that setup and we choose an order of exercises to give you the maximum benefit from that class. Okay, now the, 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 the reason we choose the exercises we do in the order that we do is to give you um, the, the best possible chance to, to output maximum effort across the class. Okay, so on each station, we want you to give optimal output so that it gives you the maximum possible overall output for that session it's not just about going flat out on every single station it's in making sure that you can keep the highest overall effort output energy output for the entire session so we're not asking you to, to smash yourself on one station uh, and go max on everything because chances are you won't get the maximum benefit because you'll be too fatigued for some of the other smaller stations okay so there's two sides of this we're looking for max effort across the entire station, right? Now, how can you keep a maximum overall effort across the entire session without maxing out on every station, okay? Well, the best idea is to go for correct exercise options at an optimal pace, okay? Now, notice how I haven't said maximum pace. It's an optimal pace because you can't hold maximum pace for 30 seconds on every exercise. Everybody has limitations uh, and certain exercises, you cannot go flat out for 30 seconds. Burpees, for instance, for me, 20 seconds in and I'm done. Unless I hold an optimal pace that allows me to keep going for 30 seconds. It might be just off maximum. It might be 95, 90% of flat out. It might be that I can still breathe and keep moving for 30 seconds rather than just going flat out from the gun. Okay, so it's not about going flat out at maximum pace every single time. It's about holding an optimal pace that allows you to keep moving at that level for the entire session. Okay, so full 30 seconds on every exercise. That's what you're aiming for. Pick a pace that allows you to work for 30 seconds on every exercise. In terms of then maximum effort, pick the correct exercise option. So press-ups is a big one. I see a lot of people banging out three full press-ups up on your toes. Whereas if you just drop to your knees, it might be the easier option, but you might get 15 or 20. Now that's a greater overall energy output because you're able to get more reps with good form in that period of time. You've kept going for the full 30 seconds, but you've also increased your overall effort for that station. But because you combine the two, it'll increase your overall effort for the full session. All right, so... Pick a, an optimal exercise, a correct exercise option for you with the correct weight and loading for you. 
It doesn't necessarily mean you pick up the hardest ex weight, the heaviest weight, sorry, for the hardest exercise and just smash that. There might be another exercise on the step down that allows you to move at an optimal pace for the full 30 seconds. Okay, so when you're doing your fitness classes, when you're doing your BST, don't necessarily just pick the hardest option because you think that's going to be the best one because that's going to expand the most calories. It might slow you down uh, and it might cause you to lose form and it might not give you the best uh, stimulus to expand a lot of calories uh, and improve your fitness. Okay, so to recap, give yourself the best chance to get maximum effort across the entire session to give yourself the maximum benefit for that session by picking the correct up exercise for you and picking an optimal pace that keeps you moving for 30 seconds. I've done that in one take. That is the first time ever. Crack on, guys. See you soon.